Welcome everyone to our second webinar of the season. Uh, this time we're traveling around Australia with Journey Beyond and I got Renee here with me today who's going to take you on a really lovely tour um, of all the wonderful rail journeys you can do around Australia. Thank you for coming and I'll pass it over to Renee. Thanks Renee. <laughs> Thanks Blaze. Um, good to be with you all here um, on this Thursday. Um, certainly is a good opportunity to talk to you about our wonderful rail journeys that, um, that we have and own and operate here in Australia, but also to give you a bit of a quick update on the wider brand of Journey Beyond and some of the other products that we do have around Australia. I do hope that you're all very safe and well during this period and I wanted to first of all thank you for your ongoing support um, throughout this time. Um, it is certainly very difficult trading times at the moment, but um, I think um, we're becoming out of that, we can start to see some light at the end of the tunnel. So um, I hope you all can sit back, relax as we take you on a journey throughout Australia um, and inspire you, yourselves maybe, or some of your clients to take up a train journey um, in the near future. So kicking it off. Um, so some of you may not be familiar with, um, with our brand of Journey Beyond. If you formerly worked with Great Southern Rail, um, then you're still dealing with the same people. It's just that our brand and our breadth of product now has grown to be just more than just trains. So I'll take you for a bit of a quick walk around Australia and just show you and introduce you to some of those other products some of, of which you may be already familiar with and probably have booked in the past. But um, I thought this is a really good opportunity to recap um, and, uh, and, and let you know um, what, we, um, what we've been up to over the last couple of years, if some, especially if some of you are new to selling um, Australia again with the current climate as well too. So kicking it off in Perth, um, we have owned and operate um, Rotness Express, which is the ferry service which goes between Rotness Island and Perth and Fremantle across to the island itself. So we offer a series of day tours and extended day tours um, or overnight stays as well, as, as well as the, uh, the transfers to and from the island as well too. It's a really good option for those customers or clients of yours that may not have been to Perth before um, and want to do some extended touring or maybe post their train journey into Perth as well too, which we'll get to in just a moment. Uh, following up the coast to the Ningaloo Reef, um, out of Exmouth here, we have um, Salsalis, which are 15 luxury eco tents um, positioned along the, the lovely uh, National Park area here, um, the Cape Range National Park. Um, they are for the discerning traveller. They uh, offer, you know, that glamping uh, experience. Um, the best part for me when I was up here last year was the fact that the, the night sky just comes alive of an evening. Plus also, you know, during the day you can swim with the whale sharks, which is what's famous and what the biggest is for um, your customers and clients um, wanting to come to this region. Um, as I said, Descending Traveller, um, certainly something you want to put on their, their list and it's, it's isolation back in its former glory you know, as we know it now, but um, there's no phone range, which I think is a huge appeal for a lot of our customers that come out here as well too, just to really disconnect. So keep that one in mind. Now moving in through to Broome, uh, we have um, the wonderful natural phenomenon that is the Horizontal Falls. David Attenborough actually uh, uh, notes this is one of the, the most natural, the greatest natural phenomenon that he's come across uh, in the world, which is fantastic for him to have that endorsement of this particular part of the world. So we operate um, a series of half or full day experiences up here to the, to the falls itself, um, and you can actually stay overnight on our pontoon up here too. So do keep that in mind. I know Broome's hot on the list at this point for uh, future travel, especially as Australian, with our borders are lifting as well. Darwin, we have Darwin Harbour Cruises, which offers a certain amount of uh, Every night uh, we have a, a sunset drinks and a dinner cruise as well too. So it's a good option for those um, passengers that are coming pre or post their rail journey on the GAN into Darwin, which again we'll get to in just a moment. Um, Travelling over to the East Coast, we have um, Cruise with Sundays, which is part of our portfolio. Um, it's great. Uh, ferry transfers in between the islands, let's say, for example, Daydream Island, Hamilton Island, and with mainland through the connections through to Airlie Bank. Um, we offer a series, as I said, very uh, transfers puzzle. So we have um, a series of day trips up to Whitehaven Beach and the Great Barrier Reef up to our pontoon that's positioned out there at a place called Hardy Reef. Um, we've just recently added late last year our reef suites, which are the underwater um, rooms which you can now stay out, on, out over the reef, which is really exciting. Um, we've got a whole new pontoon that we've just relaunched as well too. So if you want any further details, you know how to get in touch with. Um, coming through to Sydney, we've just launched, um, just before COVID hit, unfortunately, we uh, have a new vessel and a new boat that we're doing some 
lunch and dinner cruises out in Sydney Harbour. So very much a premium experience, all inclusive. So um, do keep an eye out for that if you have clients that are, are travelling to the Harbour City. And then finally, we have um, Eureka Sky Deck and um, Eureka 89 in Melbourne too. So very much a popular attraction for those um, those holiday travellers through to Melbourne as well. So quite, a, quite an expansive product that we now own. As I said, um, all wholly and solely Australian owned. So when you are buying and purchasing from us, all the profits and that all do stay here right in Australia, supporting local Australian businesses, which is fantastic as well. And not forgetting our, um, our rail journeys. So I'm very fortunate enough to have um, travelled on all of our train journeys um, and been with the company for close to 15 years. So there's, um, I, I know trains like the back of my hand. Um, but starting with our coast-to-coast um, -coast journey from Sydney all the way through to Perth, um, referred to as the Indian Pacific, um, because it gets its name from the two oceans that it links. Um, the journey from Sydney to Adelaide is one night, and then the journey Adelaide to Perth is an additional two nights. And the same on the, from the reverse journey as well. Two nights Perth, Adelaide, and one night Adelaide through to Sydney. Then of course we have the GAM, which travels north-south, which is a two night, three day journey from Adelaide to Darwin. And the same is true on the reverse. There is a two night, three day version, but there's also a three night, four day version. Now I'll break that down for you in just a moment and tell you the difference between the two. And just late last year, we launched a new service between Adelaide and Brisbane, which is referred to as the Great Southern. Um, Brisbane, Adelaide to Brisbane is two nights, three days. And we also have the reverse journey, Brisbane to Adelaide, which is also, well, additional nights, so three nights, four days in totality. Then we have a 10 hour service between linking the two cities of Adelaide and Melbourne. Um, it's referred to as the Overland. So the Overland operates um, you know, several times a week um, in each direction, but offering a 10 hour trip cities. So that's every mainland capital city of Australia now covered with a train journey um, of, um, of ours, which is fantastic. So speaking specifically about the journeys themselves, we'll get uh, right underway and talk about the Indian Pacific, which as I mentioned before, does go coast to coast, celebrating its 50th anniversary uh, this year. So um, 1970 was its original year that it did travel um, all the way through on the one gauge. Um, uh, previous to that, it was operating, but separately by each individual state government. So this is a bit of a a tidbit and a uh, fun fact there for you. But nowadays, modern travel as it would be um, has um, sort of come of age. Um, so the journey itself, the eastbound experience, so this is the one departing out of Perth, parts on a Sunday at 9am, travelling through to the mining township of Kargooli uh, later that evening. Before the next morning, we arrived into the township of Rawlina, which is just Start of the Nullarbor Plain. And um, we have a sunrise breakfast here where we serve tea, coffee, orange juice, and some lovely um, pastries off the train here um, and watching that sunrise um, out on the Nullarbor. Before we venture later that afternoon into the township of Cook, which is um, an old mining, uh, old mining, an old railway town which used to service the freight and passenger trains that used to um, come across here almost on an hourly occasion, I believe. Um, but nowadays, it's just limited to just freight and then our service comes through um, just twice a week. So it's a population of just four people. Um, so a lot of our passengers get to look around this, this isolated little um, Nullarbor town and, um, and meet the four residents that do live there, which is kind of cool. Coming through to Adelaide, which is the festival city. So we do have um, three options here for excursions. So all excursions, I must say, are included in the ticketed fare along with all of the um, food and beverage that is also served on train here, which I'll touch on at the end of the presentation when we talk about um, the service levels. But we have three options here in Adelaide. So it's a really good option for those um, customers or clients of yours that may be new to visiting Adelaide and just want to take in those city sites. We're actually here for about 90 minutes, so it's a really quick um, quick uh, city uh, experience here in Adelaide. Just remember that because on the reverse journey, it's a little bit longer, which allows for, um, for more time seeing some of the regions that are close by the city. Um, so later that afternoon, we're arriving into Broken Hill. Um, we've got three um, experiences here which take on more of the art scene. Um, and then we've also got the Palace Hotel, which takes in the... Um, of course, made famous by Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. In the most well, part of the film was uh, was filmed there, and we have our resident drag queens will come through and do a performance for our, our, our guests, your customers as well too, whilst they're on Broken Hill. And then we travel through the next day and arrive in the wonderful Blue Mountains, where we offer you know a great experience here. It is compulsory for all guests unless they've been here before to take in um, the Blue Mountains. So we go to Scenic World, where we see the fire rail, the cable car, and the railroad um, and then we also see the um, 
of the three sisters as well, which is a great vantage point, which is where this photo is taken on the right um, to uh, at Echo Point. So it's a really great way to sort of round out the journey. We finish with lunch and then travel into Sydney later that day, arriving at three o'clock in the afternoon or 3.15, just in time to check into the hotel. So that is the eastbound experience on the Indian Pacific Perth all the way through to Sydney. So reverse trip is slightly different. We do this because obviously uh, our customers and clients want to see different parts of Australia and spend a little bit more time in some regions over others. So we do make the reverse journey slightly different. So depart out of Sydney on a Wednesday at three o'clock in the afternoon. We travel through the majestic blue mountains um, of an evening or just under dusk depending on the time of year, you can see it. Um, and then we arrive into the um, outback mining town of Broken Hill the following morning, bright and early at 6 a.m. when we've got three experiences here available for us. You will see that these experiences do differ on the reverse journey, as I mentioned before. So we've got a, a few different ones here for our customers, especially if they're a lovers of prayer hearts, etc. cetera. Um, and then we arrive into Adelaide later that afternoon at about three o'clock in the afternoon, um, and we don't leave till about nine o'clock that night really good opportunity to be able to explore some of the regions close by to the Adelaide CBD. Now some of these I'm sure you're familiar with so um, in winter we offer trips up or we can do an excursion out to the Barossa Valley made famous obviously from its um, red wine um, making facilities up there. Um, so winter in the Barossa and then we offer summertime we go down to the coast which is the Clarenbar which is a little lesser known than the Barossa but it's a great way to sort of um, you know sort round out the day and, and get out into some of our wonderful winemaking regions which make South Australia so um, popular, I guess, as an option. So if they're on someone's bucket list and they want to see it as part of their train trip, then I certainly would encourage doing this particular journey out of Sydney across to Perth. We also do a visit to the SA Museum and we also go up to Handorf in the um, Adelaide Hills as well too for a cheese and chocolate making experience, which is interesting as well. So all um, experiences here include dinner. And then if anyone joining in Adelaide, so joining the Indian Pacific journey in Adelaide, we offer dinner at the terminal as well too prior to the departure of about nine o'clock at night. So if your clients do have, want to see more of Adelaide, then this is the trip for them to do. Again, we arrive to cook the following day travel through to Royal Linna later that night when we do an outback barbecue um, on the rail siding here. Um, and we have um, as a barbecue, uh, acoustic guitarists, and we have bonfires all lit here. It's a really great way to sort of spend the last night on board the train before arriving into Perth the following day at three o'clock in the afternoon. So that is your westbound experience on the Indian Pacific, um, traveling all the way through from Sydney through to Perth, of course. So moving through now to the GAN. Uh, the GAN does have different journeys and I'm, I'll break it down for you if you like. So we do have the northbound service. Um, so the GAN actually celebrated its 90th anniversary departure and operation last year. So um, ever since the late 1920s, we've been operating this. And as I said before, this um, it's now a modern take on, on that particular journey that the Cameliers would have now uh, established early on. However, we do depart out of Adelaide at certain times of the year, um, on Sundays year round. That's generally when we depart at about lunchtime and then we have additional departures throughout our peak season, which is June all the way through to August, which departs on a Wednesday. So we travel out of Adelaide um, through the Flinders Ranges and Outback regions, just sort of north that farming Wheatbelt area through to um, the township of Marla, where we actually stop the following morning and do a sunrise breakfast off train. It'll be a great way to sort of see the sunset coming over the Outback before arriving into Alice Springs uh, later that day for um, your Alice experience. Now, it is actually up to your clients, our guests, whether they do leave the train here and spend a couple of days and go out and see Uluru and Ayers Rock and then rejoin the next service. Depending on the time of year, that can be up to seven days, but if it's now peak season, we're only waiting three or four days for the next service to come through. That's a popular option for our customers um, to do. Otherwise, um, if you do, if you have got clients that are travelling all the way through to Darwin, then there's a series of excursions available as well here too, plus a range of optional upgrades as well too, which are additional costs naturally. Travelling through to Catherine um, the following day, so Catherine obviously made famous from um, Nipmuc Gorge here. Um, so yeah, it's certainly a, a very historical place, a very moving place to. Um, see and witness. I've been here many times and it offers a different landscape and a different outlook every time depending on you know, who we're travelling with and, and what we're seeing on the day. It's such a beautiful place, it really is, um, and it must be seen 
um, definitely in, in a lifetime, that's for sure. Uh, for those clients or customers that may have been to the Gorge before, then we do offer a, Outback, a Catherine Outback experience as well too. So several options here um, for, for those customers and some optional upgrades as well too. Before arriving into Darwin on a Tuesday or a Friday in the early evening as well too. So that's the northbound experience, Adelaide all the way through to Darwin. Now the southbound experience is exactly the same. Um, it's only offered in several months of the year, so November, February and March only, because during October, uh, March through to October of every uh, given year, we operate what we refer to as our expedition service. Now customers or clients may come through to you and say, um, oh, I've heard about this trip on again. There's some, there's something, there's one that's, more special or more experiential than the other and this is the one that they're talking about. It's our expedition. So as I mentioned before at the start when we're looking at the duration of night spent on the plane, this particular journey is three nights, four days. So there is an additional day in the itinerary compared to the normal, regular or the classic GAN service is what we refer to in a thing. So this particular trip, as you can see on the timeline down the bottom, does add a stop in Cooper PD as well to be the whole day there. So generally speaking, when we're travelling on the GAN, regular GAN or classic GAN service, we've got about four hours in Alice Springs and Catherine, whereas on the expedition we have a full day in these destinations, which obviously you know, gives us a little bit more time to explore some of those regions as well too. So we depart out of Darwin on a Wednesday and a Saturday, um, depending on the time of year. Again, Catherine's a very similar experience because we can't really change up too much. People still want to go and see the Catherine um, or Nipmuc uh, National Park and see the Gorge um, in Catherine, so that stays the same. Where the itinerary does change and where we have a little bit more time is in Alice Springs, as I mentioned. So here we've added an additional um, experience of the Alice to Off-Road, which is a, high, a cycling experience. But we do actually arrive in Alice Springs at 8.30 in the morning and don't leave until about 10 o'clock at night. So it does actually offer the option to travel down to Uluru as part of this um, experience, as one can imagine, because we do have the full day. Now, this is by a fixed wing aircraft, so it's a flight down to Uluru. It is optional and it is an additional cost to do so on this particular one, whereas the one, the excursions I just before mentioned are all included. This particular experience is quite a popular for those customers and clients that don't actually want to come and spend three or four days and travel them by coach or by their own steam, you know, in terms of um, self-drive, down to Willaroo. They want to come down, take the pictures, and then come back again. So it's a very popular option. We are limited to just 20 seats on this particular experience. Um, per departure, so we need to book this one as soon as we possibly can. So a flight down, uh, lunch on the ground, a quick um, walk around um, the base walk of um, Uluru and then back into Alice Springs, just in time to join our Outback uh, Telegraph Station dinner, which um, is a really great way to culminate and come together back in Alice Springs and talk about your day with your fellow travellers as well too. It is, as, a, um, as it suggests, in Dinner Under the Stars, it is the white tablecloth, it's an outback barbecue dinner. It is simply stunning. Um, we have a full band that plays out here. You know, we have an astronomer that comes through and you know, interprets the night sky. It is actually one of those experiences that most people talk about as the highlight of their GAN expedition trip. So this, is, as I said, is only offered on the expedition service. It's not offered on our regular GAN service. So again, as I mentioned, if someone is coming to you and saying that um, I want that special GAN trip, which one is it? This is the one in Darwin to Adelaide trip on the GAN expedition. We're going to, we depart out of Alice Springs uh, late on day two of the itinerary, obviously, and then we're coming into Cooper Pedy early the next morning. So spending a whole day here in Cooper Pedy. Um, so there's three optional excursions available to our, well, to our guests here um, in Kubapini, just depending on what, um, what they want to see and do. Obviously, Opals, um, I do tend to uh, dictate a lot of the um, sightseeing here, but um, there's lots to see and do here in Kubapini, and we can certainly explore that. We have lunch underground in an op active Opal mine as well, which is pretty cool, I must admit. And then, sadly, we have to come, to, the journey does come to an end on day four into Adelaide. That is your GAN expedition um, southbound trip, um, Darwin, all the way through to Adelaide. Moving through to the Great Southern, which is, um, as I mentioned at the start, is that one of the newest um, family members to join our fleet. It only had its inaugural season last summer. So this is offered in January and uh, December and January only, when we, uh, um, we when the GAN is obviously out of action um, due to the wet season up in Darwin. So this particular journey, as I mentioned, 
is um, available between Adelaide and Brisbane. So the Adelaide to Brisbane service is a two night, three day journey, traveling through from Adelaide, right through to the wonderful regional township of Grampians, um, you know, through regional, New, uh, through, through regional Victoria, um, through to Canberra, where we take on the Canberra icons, which, you know, of course are, you know, the War Memorial and um, Parliament House. And for those that have perhaps have been there before or are familiar with Canberra, then we offer a food and wine trail as well um, in the afternoon. Before, on day three, we travel through to Coffs Harbour, where we have a series of experiences available here for our, our guests on board as well too. So again, travelling in summer, it's the best time to be travelling up the east coast of Australia and taking advantage of these lovely long days and those summer nights to be able to um, you know, sort of encompass and really um, be enriched by these experiences up the east coast. Before arriving into Brisbane on a Sunday at, um, at five o'clock in the evening. Um, so that's your eastbound or northeast bound uh, experience on the um, on the Great Southern before we look at the reverse journey of Brisbane through to Adelaide. Now this particular trip is a three night trip so it is actually a little bit longer because the uh, journey we have more time spending in some different regions and, and just through the timetabling as well too so it is a bit longer so if your clients are looking for that that bit more uh, time to be spending on train and having um, this is the one, I guess, the, the, the optional journey for them. So departing out of Brisbane on a Monday, we travel through and do a beachside dinner in Coffs Harbour. Again, as I mentioned, it's the best time of year to be uh, travelling through the East Coast and maximising those, those summer sunsets. We have a beachside dinner here in Coffs before we travel through to that Hunter, Newcastle and Port Stephens area, which is just fantastic to be at this time of year. Again, that, taking in that, you know, a lot of that, uh, that coastal um, elements as well. Plus also throwing a little bit of wine options as well in there as well. Uh, we travel through the following day through to Melbourne and all the 12 apostles. So there's a city experience versus the um, that natural phenomenon that is the 12 apostles. Um, so if you've got clients who want to tick that off their bucket list and they can do so on our great southern journey. And then through to Adelaide um, on day four we're arriving nice and early 9.30 a.m. Um, there in Adelaide. So that is our great southern experience um, you know, uh, between Brisbane and Adelaide. Moving through now to the service levels that we do have on board our, all of our trains that I've just mentioned. Um, very important that we go through this detail because it is all about that comfort and, um, and that we have on board our trains. Most of all of our journeys are, uh, inventory is made up of our gold service cabins. Um, so they are offered, um, you know, offering that traditional rail comfort of, um, you know, twin and single cabins available um, for our customers to, you know, really feel comfortable and, and, and have, have that, a wonderful experience on board our train. As I mentioned before, um, our journeys are fully inclusive, so nothing else to pay for whilst they're on board, except if they want to upgrade some of those, um, those excursions, as I, as I mentioned. But um, all meals are included and served in our Queen Adelaide restaurant, as you can see here. Um, and then it also includes all beverages as well, which is served in our Back Explorer lounge car. So we have our twin cabin here, which is a, um, a three-seater lounge by day up in the top right-hand corner, which converts to an upper and a lower sleeping berth of an evening. It does also include a private ensuite cabin, which I must stress is quite compact, but um, certainly offers all those necessities that you do need of an ensuite bathroom. To be honest with you, a lot of the time is spent either mingling in the restaurant or the lounge car, if not off train as well too. So um, I do always recommend um, for my agents partners as well too, to, um, to really restrict the luggage that our customers and our guests uh, bring on board because it will obviously impact the ability to move around in their cabins. So I always think about it like an airline, you check your, um, your, um, your overhead luggage. You know, something of a similar size that would be ample and then we can check in the rest of the luggage into the into our luggage van as well too. So we also offer a single cabin, which is great for those single passengers or for those guests that do not want, wish to climb a bunk. Um, we can offer these either side by side or adjacent to one another. Um, the unfortunate thing with our single cabins is they don't have their private ensuite bathroom, but nevertheless, one is not far away. We have um, a toilet and shower um, at either end of the carriage, which are available for those guests traveling in our single cabins. So um, these have re recently been refurbished. Um, as you can see here, it is just literally enough room for a bed and a single seat um, by day. Um, there is a private um, hand basin in the cabin, which is tucked behind the door, which is offering you know, great for you know, those, um, those personal um, comfort there as well too. 
As I mentioned, we're all of our restaurants, uh, all of our guests have access to our Queen LA restaurant, which has, as you can see here, um, quite a superb range of meals. It, it always, you know, fascinates me as to the, the level of quality that does come out of our kitchens by one of our wonderful chefs that travel with us and prepare these meals for our customers. Our guests and your clients as well too. They really are of a high, um, high distinguished nature. They really, really are. Um, you know, with wines to be matched, as well too from the best wine regions that we have here in Australia. Our menus do take on a uh, an individual flair depending on where the regions that we're traveling through each day you know it's really great to see and we cater for all dietary requirements as well too so do let us know at the time of booking if there's anything special that we need to know about um, that your your client and our guests will be traveling on board with us. And our Outback Explorer lounge car great place to mix and mingle throughout the end of the day or maybe pre-dinner drinks in here. It's, it's just a really wonderful and warm experience for our, um, our customers as well too. So um, do keep that, uh, that in mind as well. And for those discerning travellers that really want to lash out and splash maybe, you know, it might be a special anniversary or a birthday or just because, um, offering them to upgrade into platinum service certainly is, um, is the way to go. We have in the past had previous um, inventory availability issues around this because it is so popular and it is um, it is often sold out. But uh, this year we've added more carriages, more inventory in this particular space. So we do have plenty to offer this year, which is great. Um, and into next year as well. So we do have our, um, these are about twice the size of a gold service twin cabin, offering um, double beds and uh, twins as well too. But again, like gold, all, all, all meals are included in the, in the ticket of price. And we also serve um, our French champagne of choice, Bollinger, on board for all of our guests in Platinum as well too, which is a really nice way, as we do as Australians, we like to toast to a journey. So I think it's really apt that we have that, um, that available to our Platinum service guests. So as I mentioned, we have a twin cabin, which is in the top, um, top middle there, I guess you could say. So great for those um, you know, ladies or friends that may be traveling together. Um, and then we also have the double accommodation as well too. So bottom right, um, and then you can see the cabin by day, bottom, bottom left. So bottom right is the cabin by day as well too. So lots of space to move around the cabin and offering a larger ensuite bathroom as well too. Platinum Club, so all of our Platinum Service guests have access to a Platinum Club, which is um, certainly a great place. To, again, um, it's a lounge and a restaurant all in one carriage, as opposed to having separate like we do in gold, um, because we're accommodating fewer passengers here, of course, in Platinum. And seated in other tables of two or tables of four, which is certainly a great way to um, sort of round out the day, I guess. You know, we have an extra course uh, available in our menu as well in Platinum Service, just because. Um, and I mentioned the overland at the top too when we looked at the map, but I uh, just wanted to make mention of this um, between uh, Adelaide and Melbourne and our premium offering there with our premium seats versus our red standard as well too. So don't forget um, for that one as well. And just coming to the end now too, we'll be talking about our all-inclusive um, or holiday packages as well too. So not only do we just obviously promote and sell the rail through Rail Europe, um, we also do have a series of packages. So those extended stays in Brisbane, you know, Darwin, Adelaide, Perth, Sydney, we can actually offer all those touring and we have a series of packages which may last up to seven days that we can offer as well too. So the complete package is there and available too. We have the e-brochure here, which, um, which is available Download and really whet your appetite as some of those holiday packages which may, um, may be suitable for your customers moving forward. So just rounding out now, I just wanted to give you an update um, on the state of play um, in the current environment um, post-COVID, uh, which is um, certainly exciting to see that we are um, getting closer to having those borders and restrictions being lifted. Um, we um, haven't made an announcement as to uh, when our uh, rail services will be recommencing again. However, we know that it's quite imminent now with some of the state borders um, being lifted, um, which is great. So do keep in touch um, with Rail Europe and ourselves as well too, because obviously we'll be making um, announcements fairly shortly um, as to when we're looking to recommence. Hoping, fingers crossed, it's going to be sometime in August, which will be great to see our trains um, departing again. We have just um, released internally um, and we will be releasing to trade shortly our journey safe message, which does not only applies to our rail journeys, but applies to all of our vessels and all of our um, products that we do have around Australia about um, how we're managing that moving forward from the sanitisation to a social distancing, um, which we can, um, we can certainly overcome uh, as well too. So we will be releasing that um, on all of our websites shortly as well too and how we're, we're adhering to those, um, 
those um, restrictions of Pravalis. There's a whole range of resources which I Blaze will be sending through to you post um, the webinar, but um, there's a series of Facebook files, e-brochures and PDFs as well too, which are all available for you to use um, to encourage your customers to um, look at maybe a rail journey um, if they're staying at home um, this year. Um, certainly all available to use and to promote out to your, your databases, which is great too. And finally, you know, obviously your Row Europe team are here to uh, help you and assist you with any bookings, quotes, you know, further advice. I know a lot of their team have been on the train before, so um, their knowledge is, is very similar to, to mine. So um, they really are, you really are in good hands with that team to be able to um, book and, and quote through them. Our season is just opened and we've done a pre-release for next year as well um, in anticipation for a lot of our rebooking with affected COVID guests. So and we are actually open now up until November for travel up until November 2021 with a further season release due shortly from November onwards as well too. So again, thank you for your custom. It's been wonderful to spend some time with you um, this morning, um, but also um, thank you to the Rail Europe team for this particular opportunity to be able to talk about our wonderful rail journeys and hopefully we'll see you on board soon. Uh, thank you so much, Renee. That was wonderful. A wonderful journey around Australia by rail. Uh, and thank you everyone for watching. If you have any other questions, uh, feel free to look at our website. We have all these information posted there. And of course, our Great Train Journeys team is there is available for you to call or email um, to get more information or of course to book your clients in for these journeys. Thank you again and have a wonderful day.